In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a baby beep using my favorite technique in the hoop embroidery. If you have a modern embroidery machine, then it's time to try in the hoop embroidery. In the hoop embroidery is a great way for you to create beautiful gifts for friends and family. This design comes in one size for the 9.5 by 14 inches hoop. This bib fits uh, newborns to 6 months approximately. The bib is completely lined with no raw seams and is completely made in the hoop, closed with cam snaps. Download my in the hoop embroidery design from my shop. It's free. You will find the link under this video in the description. Hi, I am Olga from hberry.com. If you're enjoying the content so far, uh, hit the subscribe button below so you will be notified about new videos every week. I hope you find them useful and informative. What you will need to make the baby beep? Embroidery machine with a hoop size 9.5 by 14 inches or bigger, cotton flannel fabric, a rectangle 11 by 14 for the beep top, cotton flannel fabric, a rectangle 11 by 14 for the bib backing, scraps of different color cotton fabrics, cut 2 by 2 inches squares from them, wash away or water soluble embroidery stabilizer, machine embroidery threads and cotton batting. Cut a rectangle 11 by 14 and uh, use very thin batting for this baby bib. You will need some soft and comfortable fabric for the bib. I recommend using cotton flannel for the front and back of the bib because it's soft and warm. You also need to pick uh, quilting cotton fabric scraps for your appliques. You must pre-wash and iron your cotton fabrics before starting the project. Uh, this is because you will need to put the finished bib in the washing machine. Pre-wash also batting so it doesn't get shrinked after washing. I recommend using 100% cotton embroidery thread because polyester and rayon embroidery thread require lower iron temperatures than cotton and uh, because it's often best to use a thread that's the same material as the bib. Recently I bought these threads, new bra thread. 24 basic colors, multi-purpose, 100% mercerized cotton threads. Now I am a big fan of this thread. The thread is very smooth and durable and at the same time very soft and even silky. The sets include all basic colors, so you will be prepared for any project. It never breaks, even if the speed of my embroidery machine is big. Ok, step 1. Hoop water soluble stabilizer. I see that it's usually recommended to use two layers of water soluble stabilizer for in the hoop embroidery projects. I guess it's because one layer can be easily cut by mistake. But I like to use only one layer of water soluble stabilizer for baby beeps because two layers would produce too much residue after washing out the stabilizer. It shouldn't be a clear stabilizer like film. Use the other kind. It's really important to hoop stabilizer correctly so it has a proper tension and doesn't move within the hoop at all. I learned that I can use T-pins to hold the stabilizer in the hoop better, so I usually do it. Take your time, place the stabilizer, make some small adjustments if necessary and tighten the hoop. The stabilizer should be very taut in your hoop at all times. If it becomes stretched with too much handling of the hoop during embroidery, you might have problems with alignment and uh, then you might have gaps or bubbles between stitches. Step 2. Choose the thread for the fabric. Don't pay attention to the different color threads on the machine screen 
They are used only for the machine to stop at certain points so you can place different fabrics for the appliques. I used green embroidery thread for the whole project, 100% cotton. The thread will be visible on the back of the bib, so fill the bobbin with the same thread. I used two bobbins for the project. Step 3. Load the design onto your machine. Don't change the order of steps in the design. You must stitch the design in the correct order. I use different colors of thread when I digitize the design. The machine should stop at those points so that the design goes in the right order. For the baby beep you don't even need to change thread colors. You can use only green thread for the whole project. That's what I did. Step 4. Make a placement stitch for the baby beep. Start the first step of the embroidery design and make a placement stitch on the stabilizer. Just push a button and the machine will do it automatically. Step 5. Stitch bib fabric and batting to the stabilizer. Place very thin cotton batting and bib fabric on top of the hoop and uh, run the next step of the design. The machine will stitch the bib fabric and batting down onto the stabilizer. You can use tape to secure the fabric in the hoop. I didn't use the tape, but I think I would advise you to secure the fabric, not to keep it by hand. Remove the hoop from the machine, but of course don't unhoop your work. Leave your work in the hoop. Cut out the fabric, but don't cut the batting yet. Cut all the way around to the shape of the beep. For this I am always using my duckbill scissors, these funny shaped scissors. With these scissors you can trim fabric very close to stitches without worry of ruining your project. And uh, they have this flat pedal blade which help to cut the fabric close to stitches. And uh, after you are done cutting return the hoop to the machine. Step 7. Make appliques. Lay different color fabric pieces over the placement lines and uh, make sure the lines are covered and run the next 5 steps of the design. I think it's better to secure these pieces of fabric with tape. I didn't do it, but I advise you to do it. Step 8. Cut out the applique fabrics. Remove the hoop from the machine, cut out all the applique fabrics to the shape of the circle and use dark bill scissors again. Step 9. 
Step 9. Finish the appliques on the baby beep with satin stitches. Return the hoop to the machine and run the next step of the design and it will finish the circles. Step 10. Remove the hoop again and place the cotton flannel fabric. Uh, it was cut to a rectangle 11 by 14 inches. And place the cotton flannel fabric under the hoop. Make sure that the fabric covers the bib completely. You also have to verify that the fabric lies perfectly flat under the hoop. I usually use a painter's tape to hold the fabric in this case. Return the hoop to the machine and uh, run the next step of the design. It will attach the back fabric to the bib. Step 11. Remove the hoop from the machine and cut out the back fabric from the back of the hoop. Cut all the way around. The outline stitch works as a guide. Cut as close to stitches as possible again. Also, now it's time to trim the batting from the top of the hoop. Be careful not to cut water-soluble stabilizer in the hoop. Step 12. Finish the baby beep in the hoop. Run the last step of the design. Once you have completed the design, cut away the excess uh, water-soluble stabilizer. And after that, wash the baby beep in warm water, preferably in the washing machine. You need to get rid of all the water-soluble stabilizer that's left inside the beep. Otherwise, your beep will be very stiff. The washing machine will remove all the stabilizer for sure. Press the beep with a hot iron afterwards. On the wrong side, use a pressing cloth. Step 13. Now I need to make a closure for this baby beep. I like to use plastic snaps known as cam snaps. They are really easy to apply, they are available in a variety of colors and are recommended by many to use for baby beeps. The great thing about cam snaps is that they make a very easy and secure closure and also look cute. They are available at most fabric stores and come with a starter kit and the kit includes a tool to install cam snaps. You can also easily find them online. A plastic cam, cam snap set contains four tiny pieces. One set has four parts. Two caps with these tiny prongs that they are visible on the outside of the garment. The caps and two backings that are flat, relatively flat, one socket and one stud. We will just need one set for the baby beep. I could go with 
contrasting colors, but for this baby beep, I had picked something that matched the beep color. So the child would have a harder time playing with it. If you install them correctly, the snaps are almost impossible to remove and you will need special equipment to do that. However, just to be sure, I had used snaps of the same color as the beep fabric. You will need special pliers to install the cam snaps. Here is how to install the snaps on the baby beep. Decide on your snap placement. Use an awl. Make a small hole in the fabric where you want to place your snaps. It's better to pierce both ends of the baby beep at once. Don't make the holes big, they should be only as big as the cap prongs. Now push the cap from the front side of the bib to the back through the hole. Place the stud piece onto the cap prong from the back side of the bib. Take the pliers and position it like you see here. The cap should go on the black dye tray and the stud should be placed under the clear rubber head. Make sure both parts of the snap, uh, the cap and the stud sit correctly in the pliers without any portion of the cap or stud sticking out beyond its edges. Hold the pliers so that they are sitting on the table, not in the air, and press the pliers firmly for a few seconds. Remove the fabric between the pliers. The prong has been flattened and the stud is secured in the position. Now repeat the process on the other side of the beep and install the second part of the snap, but this time use a cap and a socket piece. And this is what your finished pair of plastic snaps should look like. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you are interested in embroidery and sewing.